Well, I would like consumers to uh, know more about the American farmer and rancher and the products that we produce and uh, where their food comes from. We have, uh, we've missed that in our, in our schools, uh, our colleges and universities. We've promoted careers in law and medicine and engineering and business uh, and education, which is all good. I'm very supportive of that. But we hadn't done as well in terms of promoting careers in agriculture and natural resources. And so uh, promoting the American farmer and promoting the uh, products that we produce to feed the entire world is very, very important and people uh, do not realize it. I was one of those normal, I always want to be a vet little girls growing up. I always want to be a veterinarian. And then as I practice, I practice in veterinary medicine for 30 years, and you see the way different farms do ways. And then when I got my own herd, um, I was able to apply much of the things that I'd learned. And with, I, with me only being in large animal practice, I had focused on nutrition and herd health and parasitology and many of those things for years. And so it was, a, it was an easy segue to come in, to come in and, and have our own, our own herd. Just the, the, the comforting thing of watching them graze and listening to them take a bite of grass is the way some people feel when they listen to the, the, the same continuity of ocean waves. Cows are designed to eat grass. So we're grass farmers. We must maintain the grass in a growing condition so that the cow is her own harvester. If we are good for the environment, we're keeping her manure on the grass, which fertilizes the grass. We are trying to keep her out of our stream sources so the fish can have clean water. And we so use solar energy, renewable energy, to pump the water to the cattle. And their hay is also grown here and so that we don't have transportation costs and energy costs to bring in the hay here. So we are sequestering carbon here. We produce beef because that's what we sell. But also because of this land that we have, we have many other species of both invertebrates and vertebrates that exist here. And we want to know, have people know that they can go and coexist. We're really interested in sharing where food comes from. Enjoying a, a steak or, or a great hamburger, for example, uh, knowing that that came from a farm operation where quality beef is, is grown and managed and the forages are managed, the wildlife is managed, and it's a, it's a health model, a holistic model. But of course also we're concerned with uh, you know, economic sustainability, that we can stay in business. I mean, in agriculture, uh, that's been a struggle. We went to the university farm and he um, offered me the ring and he says, if you marry me, we'll have something like this someday. And the university th farm is big, and, and we laugh because you're young, you're, you're 20 something years old. And so, but it's taken us years. Uh, and so, to accomplish this. Uh, it may take some time, um, and you may not have anything to start with, uh, but, but don't lose hope. Uh, it, it is an awesome responsibility to grow food and fiber, and it's. Uh, it's very rewarding to know that you uh, help produce food that's feeding uh, individuals and families and people around the world.